So how much does the intrinsically chaotic nature of weather play into the forecast? I mean, I know you love this stuff. <laughs> I, I do, you know, because it's always so, uh, you can look at a model for one day and the next day it com completely changes and surprised and you think, why is that? The reason is this, is that, that forecast, the accuracy depends on, on data, how the, how the model understands the state of the atmosphere when it starts to roll a forecast forward. If the model doesn't have within it good enough data or a good enough sense of what the current atmospheric state is, then that creates an error and that error can often multiply in, in time going forward. The problem is you can't anticipate very well whether a forecast is going to be reliable in advance or not. I often, when I'm trying to explain chaos and forecasting, think of it like the multiverse. Yeah, these yeah. Are all the, these are all the multiple. <laughs> these are all the possible outcomes of the future. Yeah, exactly. Each one is, is equally likely. Exactly. Wait, 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 wait. Now comes the part of the show where I teach you my world famous Hungarian spaghetti recipe. Just kidding. We're going to talk about spaghetti plots. You've probably seen spaghetti plots in hurricane forecasting where a rainbow colored array of lines show you the potential track of a hurricane. But what is it actually? So I'm gonna demonstrate with this spaghetti, actual spaghetti cooked by me. Uh, each one of these lines represents a different output from a weather model, the track of the storm through time. So we're gonna pretend this is the starting place right here and this is through time. Each model track varies slightly in its forecast direction. Here is our spaghetti plot. So this really helps in conveying the uncertainty in a forecast. So if all of these potential hurricane tracks diverge almost immediately, there's low confidence in where this storm is going to go. But if the tracks all sort of stick together, then there's higher confidence in the overall track of the storm. Spaghetti plots are essentially one visualization of what we call ensemble forecasts. The idea is that instead of showing the output for a bunch of different models, we take one model and change the initial conditions very slightly hundreds of times. And that's because we're never going to know the entire picture of the initial state of the atmosphere, there's always going to be uncertainty. And over time, that uncertainty amplifies. And this is where a forecaster comes into play. We might say, these outliers, we'll keep in our back pocket. But essentially, we know three different scenarios that that low pressure is going to take. And as we continually move forward in time, we can hone in on our spaghetti plots until we're left with a pretty accurate forecast a couple of days out. Vey voila, 